Hi, Esther. Is there anything I can do for you today, Esther? Well, would you like to play a game? Great idea. I will go get any game you would like to play. And would you like me to get you a glass of water? Or make you some toast? Are you chilly? Would you like me to get you a blanket? Emmett? Yes, Esther. How can I serve you? Wait, maybe I can serve you some cheese and crackers, or a sandwich, or some soup, or- Why are you so focused on wanting to serve me? It's not just you. I want to serve everyone. Why? Why? Because I've been reading in the Bible what Jesus said. Jesus said a lot of things. What have you read? I read that Jesus told his disciples that whoever wanted to be first had to be a servant to everyone. I figured that being first sounds pretty nice. So I figured I should serve everyone. Can I get you a glass of milk? Hmm. Uh oh, I recognize that. Hmm. This is usually when you say, oh, Emmett. And then you tell me that Jesus meant something other than what I think Jesus meant. Oh, Emmett. See? Am I good or what? You're right. That's what Jesus said. So I can serve everyone. But the reason Jesus said was because of what his disciples had been doing. Had they been trying to give Jesus a glass of milk? No. They'd been trying to figure out which one of them was the greatest. Each of them thought they were a better disciple than any of the other disciples. Each of them wanted Jesus to say that they were the best and the favorite disciple. Did the best disciple get a prize? They thought that the best would get special privileges and maybe Jesus would pick them to tell the others what to do. Doesn't sound like they wanted to serve one another. No, it doesn't. And none of them would have wanted to be a servant because in that day, a servant was someone's slave. Slaves had to do what their masters told them to do. Some of them did important work, but they didn't have the freedom to do anything else. I don't want to be someone's slave. So why did Jesus say that to his disciples? Do you remember what Jesus did after he told his disciples that anyone wanting to be first had to be a servant? Uh, not exactly. That's when I stopped reading and started figuring out how to serve people. Jesus asked a little child to stand beside him. And then Jesus told his disciples that any disciple who welcomed a child was welcoming Jesus himself and was welcoming God. So, Jesus talked about servants, then about children. I don't get it. Well, neither slaves nor children were considered very powerful or important in that time. Slaves depended on their masters and children depended on their parents. I'm confused. Because Jesus said that if you want to be first, you should become like a slave. Or a child. Maybe Jesus wants us to be confused. Well, it worked. It's confusing because for God, there is no first and no last. Everyone matters to God. So we shouldn't serve others in order to become first to God because God treats everyone like they are the first. I think so. We should serve others and be kind to others because God loves all of us. And when we serve others and are kind to others, we are treating people the way Jesus treated people. So God wants all of us to serve each other. Then all of us are servants. Then we are all first. And if we are all first, then no one is first, but we are all children of God. Amen to that. Amen.